I'm not a movie director. Okay. I'm a theater director. I deliberately don't want to go into movie directing uh, because if you want, one day one person cannot do everything. I am into acting for movies, uh, but I do theater directing. So how do we check made the new standard movies in the industry? Sir? Yes, I've answered the same question. This person that, uh, and we we looked at it, uh, you know, in the fact that. The regulations should be uh, multi layer. You know, for instance, the guilds, they should do some regulations. Directors are not admitted into the guild of directors. In same, and that's the same goes for all the other guilds. Before they admit you into a guild, you must go through interview and uh, you must ask you questions, know your credentials, know your pedigree, what. Uh, you know, who are you, what have you done, and all that. Who did you, where did you train? Who did you train from? And all that. So, but if they find you to be qualified and worthy to be a director in the movie industry, then you are admitted into the guild. And that means that, you know, you know what, you know your onions, you know what it takes to direct movies. All right? So, and then another, you know, uh, area that will help to improve the quality of what we do is this kind of uh, exercise that we are doing here today. You know, continuous workshops and seminars where we keep telling ourselves, you know, what we should be doing and what we should not be doing uh, in order to make our industry better. And I think, you know, the third layer is the census board. I mean, uh, which after you have <clears throat> recorded your movie, you must take your movie for censorship. And I think, you know, I mean, the people there are also very experienced. They also learned, uh, I mean, they studied theatre, and they know about what we are doing. So they can also tell you, no, this one is not good, this one is good. Go and remove it. And I think they used to tell some movie directors, go and remove one of the things from the films. All right, so these are the levels of re regulation. And if we, the moment we we don't allow dabblers, you know, you know, roadside people, those who are not uh, supposed to be in the industry, so long as we don't allow them to, 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 to come there so that, you know, it now be uh, everything can hurry, those doing whatever they like, the quality of what we are doing will keep improving. And then, you know, I mean, and that's what we want, to, to keep uh, you know, growing and developing. So this is the area of social media. This is what? The area of social media. The, 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 some of the actors are now engaged in skit making. Is that not killing in the industry? No, no, no. <laughs> the more the merrier. Yeah. The sky is wide enough for everybody to do whatever they want to do. So it's not killing any industry. It's creating more content. We need more content. But the standard is the standard, but they are not being regulatory. Regulated, sorry. Well, you know, I mean, do you buy the, do you buy the those those kids? Do you buy them? We do you watch buy them. them? Uh, so, okay, if you don't, if you want that, you want don't want to watch. You can once you click, once they send it to you, if you click it, me, I don't, I don't watch many of them till the end. Why, sir? And if the standard is not good, just like you said, if it's not something that I want to watch, is it by force? Uh, and so. So it's not, it's, it shouldn't be a problem. That's that's the point I'm making. So finally, sir, uh, your your message for the TGD. TGD. The, the body organizing this. Uh, the workshop. fact that I'm here is an important message. For that, that I, I am, you know, in support of what they are doing, and I'm here to lend, you know, my uh, approval to this kind of exercise. Because it is very important, it's very crucial to you know what we all yearn for, what we all desire to see in the industry: growth, development, quality. So I commend them, I applaud them, I give them kudos, and uh, I'm happy with what they're doing. And I wish them to do more. Yeah. Your advice for the new investors. New investors. <laughs> What are they investing in, in movies? Yes, sir. Well, I mean, uh, 
they should keep investing. Maybe they, if they did one and they, they, they have not, you know, made any profit, they should not be discouraged. Um, usually, things in life don't go the way we want it sometimes. You know, but there are some who will invest and will make profit and then everybody's happy, right? Uh, but if by any chance they invest in any movie that did not make it, did not make profit, they should not be discouraged. That's, that's, that's just my statement. But they, we need more investors. We need more. Because the more investors, the more movies, the more quality movies that we're going to have in the industry. Unless there are some producers, you know, you know, you know we have some funny producers as well who collect a uh, good amount of money and will not actually spend the money on the productions. I go and buy a car first and then, you know, now manage the remaining money to, to do so. So, investors should also uh, watch out for, you know, producers who have integrity, you know, so that when they spend their money to produce films, they'll make their